Hello everybody and welcome to TradeStation's Market Review. My name is Simon Clark from Trade with Precision and I'll be discussing a general review of some of the most interesting markets and trends that I'm interested in right now. Now the first market I want to take a look at here is the mini Dow future and uh, last week I was speaking about this 18,100 level as uh, being a level of previous significant uh, resistance in the markets, the market would need to break through this quite decisively in order for the uh, uptrend to continue. In fact, the market did get up to 18,100 as we can see. It broke through it but was unable to close above it. And now the market here on the daily has continued to make new lows. In fact, here on the daily chart, the market's now in quite a nice decisive downtrend, even though here on the weekly chart and the monthly chart, still looking very nice as uptrend. So a little bit uh, of indecision here on higher time frames. So looking here on the daily chart, the question is where are the potential decision points here in the market? Is there any more sort of structure levels that we can see? Um, I can certainly see, see something around here around sort of seven, if we go for the close to the round numbers, around sort of 17,700, uh, We've certainly got a level of previous resistance and support here in the market. And I think below that, we can certainly see something here around 17,500. Again, that's been also a level of previous support here in the markets too. So a couple of levels there that, uh, or a couple of potential decision points here in the market as uh, this daily downtrend is going. Now, one of the other markets that I like to look at here um, when I'm looking at the indices is the NASDAQ. Now, the mini NASDAQ, I just think, is a little bit more interesting. Again, similar type of structure here on the monthly and the weekly chart. Very, very strong bullish uptrends, as we can see. Weekly chart looking extremely nice, but also a bit like the YM, a bit like the mini Dow. The markets just pull back into the 10 period moving average. However, if we take a look at the daily chart, we can see here on the daily chart that the market has just rolled over to the first sort of key structure point here in price action. We've got a level here, it's around 44.75, where the market's found significant resistance and support in the past, and now it's sitting right at that level right there at the moment. So coming down to the lower time frames if we take a look at the 240 chart um, if I just zoom out of this we can see we can see the significance of this level previous resistance coming up to support we're in a downtrend on these lower time frames moving averages all looking very nice um, nice geometry here as well and the markets just come up to this 4475 level so for me I think if this uh, level gets broken today um, and we get a nice move underneath then I think we could get uh, a continuation of the move down um, maybe down here towards uh, let's just see where are the other potential levels of support and resistance we can see here on this market probably something around here around the sort of uh, uh, 4420 area is the next level that I can see on this time frame uh, next potential decision point I can see on this time frame here Okay, so let's also just take a quick review of crude oil. Now, last week I spoke about this uh, 60 90 level here, uh, or that sort of area. I was looking for the market, uh, or what I was looking at was potentially the market would need to find, uh, could find potential resistance here um, for the uptrend to continue. In fact, what happened was the market moved back up to 60 90, it found resistance here and now it's rolled over and it's continued to make new lows again. Um, this means that the market's now on these higher time frames looking a little bit indecisive. So here on the uh, monthly chart we've got a downtrend, on the weekly chart we've got an uptrend and on the daily chart here at the moment we don't really have any trend at all. But the market is back at that key level that I've been speaking about for weeks, 59. So I think here for me on the higher time frames of swing positions I'm going to need to wait for uh, some decisive trends to form 
but intraday there could be some interesting price action some interesting moves uh, in and around these sort of decision point areas in the market so I'll come down here to the four hour time frame we can see that the market's been very sort of technical and it's traded between these levels of support and resistance structure that we've been talking about so we're at it 59 at the moment um, we've clearly got a couple of levels below price action where the market sort of tested before and we've also got a couple of levels above price action where the markets also tested so we've got 60 90 we've got sort of 63 um, we've got underneath price action around the sort of uh, 56 60 area or, or back down towards 52 50 so I'll be looking at uh, intraday trends and intraday opportunities in between these levels uh, of price action now let's take a quick look at one of the uh, other markets here now the currency markets have been trending very nicely um, recently and one of the markets that I'm really like the look of and has really caught my eye is euro yen in fact a lot of the yens have been moving very nicely and the uh, euro yen here is just particularly nice because it's actually come up towards a key level of support and resistance if we take a quick look at the weekly here at the week on the weekly chart we can see um, we've got a low high higher low higher high weekly charts in a nice uptrend now it's we've got agreement here with our indicators too um, and it's just broken through a key level here of 139 and this level as we can see has been support and resistance a number of times so if we come down to the daily chart we can see nice bullish momentum the markets just sort of pulled back to 139 at this moment in time but if I just zoom out of this on the daily chart just to get some perspective I just want to mark a level in there just above current price action so that's around 141 150 we can see that the high also clusters with level of previous support and resistance structure in the market so for bullish price action here if we get uh, bullish price action I'll certainly be wanting to keep this uh, level here in mind Now let's just come down to lower time frames and take a look at the 240 chart. Looking here at the 240 chart, we know this 139 level is uh, significant from uh, historical levels, but in actual fact, currently here on the four hour chart, the market's now sort of tested this a number of times. So for me, looking here, if 139 gets broken and we get a deeper pullback, which we could do by the looks of things on the higher time frames then I think we'll be looking for well I'll certainly be looking for maybe a move back here towards sort of 137 area maybe sort of 136.50 um, as a previous this level through here has been previous uh, sort of support and resistance so it's not the sort of strongest level but it's the next level that I can see there in the markets okay so let me just tell you about the Traders Edge education program that we run here at uh, TradeStation International. Um, if you've attended any of the uh, webinars that we run, um, we'll, you'll also know a little bit more about the, pre uh, the premium education program, the Traders Edge education program that we run. This is a four part program and it's uh, not just a webinar, this is actually a full education program where we teach you the techniques that we use to read price action and also to complete trading strategies. These are just trading strategies that we use every day in the markets. So if you'd like to find out more information about this sort of program, or indeed if you'd like to find out more information about the webinars that we're running throughout the course of June, then just come across to the TradeStation International website, come across to the webinars tab at the end here, and then you'll be able to find out more information on the tabs down here on the left hand side. Okay, hope you found it useful and look forward to speaking to you next time. Bye for now.